Welcome to Small Arms Firearms, where you'd never thought you'd see a gun tuber skinnier than Lucas, but here we are. This is our premiere episode, brand new to YouTube. On this channel, we're going to be focusing on guns, firearms, pistols, rifles, the technology around them, and a little bit of the competitive shooting industry as well. Today, in our first ever episode on the channel, we are going to be discussing the Shalo Tech Sentinel. XXLC with macro size flex grip frame. That's a lot. It's a lot. That's a mouthful. I know. Uh, this is virtually just a P365 FCU within a complete upper, complete lower that you can buy directly from their website, ship straight to your home because it's not a firearm. It's just the uppers and the lowers and the FCU is the actual firearm. So if you have an X macro sitting at home, you have a P365, an XL, you can purchase these from their website. I'm going to preface this with, we're not paid to do this video. I would think that the subscriber count and the view count would probably let everyone know that, but no one's paid me to review any of the stuff that I have here. This is all things that I have purchased with my own money. So what comes in the box when you order this from Shalo Tech? First, you need to make sure you have your own FCU or you're going to get one, however, whatever. The gun, it's not a gun unless you have that. You need that. They're going to send you the kit in this style of case, unless they've changed. Uh, this is just kind of one of those cheap Plano ones. It's pretty flimsy. Would I say I'm mad about it? No. Would I have expected a little better for the price? Maybe. Um, it's not like you get anything really any better with SIG or Smith & Wesson when you're buying from them. But the price point, I would, I, I kind of wanted a little more. Maybe you just form, cut, fit. I don't know. Maybe that's a lot to ask, and it's nitpicky. Um, you're going to get two mags with it, depending on the size of the grip module that you order. Uh, so since this is the macro size grip module, it's going to come with two 17 round mags. Uh, it's already optic cut from the factory. You, when you're ordering your firearm, you're going to pick what. Uh, footprint you want for the optic cut, which is nice. I don't like using plates. Some people don't mind. I hate using plates. It's just another <clears throat> port for it to loosen up, for it to call it be wobbly over time. I know red Loctite exists. I just don't like using plates. Sue me. Um, what you're going to get on top of that is the fiber optic sights. They come out of the box to co-witness with your dot. It was set up so good out of the box that I, I really didn't have to do any adjustments for zeroing this at the range. I zeroed it in my basement with my dot and co by co-witnessing. And then when I went to the range, just a few clicks over and up or down, I don't remember exactly, but it was almost spot on. You could have just gone right out and used it as an EDC. This is a modular frame. I know the P365s are already fairly modular. modular. You can get the Icarus grip frames um, Icarus lower, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Mischief makes one, Mischief Machine. Then you have Wilson and Strike Industries just came out with one as well, I believe. Uh, so there's a lot of companies making aftermarket lower uh, grips for these P365s, whether that's an XL or macro size. So you do have a lot of options. The nice one about this is this is the first metal one I've really seen besides the Icarus. And the Icarus was really slippery in my hands. I don't know, this is a little slippery for me though. Yeah. So I don't know if, I kind of like the G10 on this one a little better. Like the thumb throttle feels like it, like it, uh, it's grippier. Like I can get more grip on the thumb okay. throttle on that one. Yeah, absolutely. I know that's a weird way to say it, but even with their own thumb throttle gas pedal, I still felt like it was so easy to slide off of. I don't get that with this one. This one, my hand fits really, really well in it and I get a good solid purchase and this thing stays put. Now, that's fairly subjective because everyone has different hands and everyone has a different fit and feel that they like or they're comfortable with or you're used to. The ergonomics on this one just work for me. On top of that, the slide accelerations on this are much more aggressive. It's so much easier to, whether you're just press checking or you're racking around, it's so much easier to do with these slide cuts. As far as the integrated comp goes, um, not a whole lot different. Uh, instead of having two smaller cuts on the top, they have one 
large cut, and then they have the side ports on the Shalotech versus the Macro. Uh, I can't say if that really makes much of a difference. I'm not a scientist and you shouldn't trust me ever. Uh, the other pros I see with the Shalotech, um, with the modularity of being able to change the size that you want of this, depending on how you want to carry, if you want to carry, if you're carrying them with a big coat over you, you can go as big as you want, put, slap a magwell on it if that's what you like, you want to com do competitions with it, you can, I, I probably wouldn't. Okay, I'm going to do a little correction here. I don't know anything about IDPA, so I don't know, like, fitting in the box, if it works, if it does this, so... After shooting this thing for another 500 rounds and watching it on high speed how flat this thing is and being able to string shots in fairly consistently, yeah, you could probably use this in competition. <laughs> um, it's a little small for that. I want every advantage I can get. Um, but it's nice because it does come with a stock standard trigger guard and that's where the thumb throttle gets built into. You can see that these pieces get removed. There's actually another screw inside here under the barrel or under the slide that you would remove this and then you can put the standard trigger guard back on if you want to and that i just that purchase you get on there it's huge you don't really get that with the macro the macro when my hand gets in there it's kind of i mean my thumb isn't really supposed to do anything there but for my grip i just prefer to have that ledge i'm just so used to it with competitive guns now so this does have the the metal lower, all aluminum lower. Um, the grips, they're panels, and I'm, I'm not sure what they're made out of, to be honest. The texture almost feels like a carbon fiber. It doesn't feel like metal, but I removed them, and it, they sound like they're made out of metal. I'd have to, I should probably have reached out to do a little more research, right? But they feel better than um, the Icarus, at least, as compared to the grippiness of the regular Macro. The stippling on this is is has a little more bite to it, and it it feels like it would work better if it weren't for the fact that the ergonomics fit my hand so much better. Since they're panels, I would assume that they're going to be releasing other grip options, or maybe somebody else will make grip options for you. I'd love to see Lock make something for these and throw these on these like I have on my CZ. What I don't like about the pistol is going to be we already discussed the case it comes in. Seems kind of cheesy. Um, the price. I built this X Macro for pretty cheap. I found a used lower that somebody had replaced theirs with another, whether they used Icarus or whoever, uh, but they were selling this used. So I grabbed that from them. I found a complete upper barrel slide just without the guide rod. Bought that on eBay used. Um, and then I just went to my local gun shop and bought an FCU. So I was able to build this one for fairly cheap. Um, already optics cut the way I like it. Co-witness with fiber optic sights as well. This is one hell of an EDC and I love it. It shoots great. It shoots lights out compared to my XL. I love it. But I wanted that extra advantage. I wanted that, that customization, the fit and finish you get with the Shalotech. It just works better for me. Is it worth the price though? That's up to you. Because this package costs basically $1,000 after sales tax and shipping um, to get to your door. I think I paid a little less than that, maybe around $950, $980 um, when I bought this. And then you still have to buy the FCU and those are $250, I believe. I'll have the price down below. Um, you're looking at four to five hundred dollars more depending on your setup that you get and how you customize it from their website. I feel it's worth it. And with some of the B-roll that you're going to see here with the high-speed camera footage, you can tell that there is a quicker return to zero and less muzzle rise on the Shalotech versus the X-Macro. For me, if it comes to an EDC gun that it's my life, my family's life, I'm, whatever, it doesn't matter. I want the most performance I can get without sacrificing reliability. I don't want to sacrifice any reliability. That's why I keep the stock trigger in there. I don't mess with the springs because it works and I put thousands of rounds through them. Currently this one, I have about 600 through, so not as much. Uh, the X Macro I have probably 2000 through. My XL I have probably 3000 through. So 
I put rounds through these to practice, to train, to make sure I know them. I, I want to run them through their courses before they get put inside my belt. Another nice feature compared to the X Macro. So on your X Macro, you have your loaded chamber indicator on the top there. So right here in this spot, if there was a cartridge in there, you would see that brass coloring right there on the loaded chamber indicator. What I've noticed is gas can escape from up top there and kind of come back into your optic. Doesn't cause any issues or damage or doesn't affect the way the gun shoots, but I will notice that the front glass on my optic is dirtier by the end of the day when I'm shooting. On the Shalo Tech, instead of it being on the top, they put it on the side right here. So if there was a cartridge there, you would see that brass colorization on the side of the chamber, which is a nice feature. Now the gas goes mostly out to your right instead of going back into the optic. Unspent powder, just whatever it is. It, it seems like the optic doesn't get as dirty after a day of shooting with this uh, upper compared to the stock X macro upper. Now I also want to talk about the customer service experience that I had with Shalo Tech. Who makes this again? Shalo Tech. Shalo. Uh, S H A L O Tech. Okay. T E T E K. Well, now that they've got it right, it's very very nice. Yeah, it works real well now. When I first received this pistol, or not the pistol, when I first received the upper and the lower, and I put my FCU in it, and I took it to the range. I was excited to test it out. I wanted to try it. I also wanted to try it with some of my carry ammo that I put in rotation, which are 147 grain Federal HSTs. And if anybody is a reloader or anybody knows anything about that ammo, you'll know it's close to the max cartridge overall length for SAMI spec for 9mm. It's a pretty long bullet. I mean, it's 147 grain bullet, so it's a bigger projectile, so it's going to stretch out a little farther with the powder that's in the case. I was having issues with it getting stuck, um, basically in the lance of the barrel. It was hitting the rifling uh, of the pistol barrel. I reached out to Shalo Tech at trying to figure out what's going on. Am I doing something wrong here? I actually uh, micrometered um, all of my nine ammo that I had there, and it was all within the same spec. And I put it back into the stock X macro. I ran it through the XL, I ran it through a CZ, I ran it through an Atlas, it all worked fine. So I sent them some videos and some pictures and immediately I get a phone call from an unknown number and it was Tim from Shalo Tech. And he worked with me immediately to get the issue fixed. They were sending me brand new barrels out just to test. That they, they didn't even ask me to send anything back to them. They didn't care, they sent it everything on their way. Still was having issues. Come to find out they were having some kind of problem on their line with, uh, I'm not a machinist, I don't know anything about it, but nobody else was reporting the issues but me and they got the fix on their machining done. A couple weeks later, I have everything I need. It is rocking and rolling and I have been putting rounds down range since. And I make sure that I did not clean it after 600 rounds. I wanna put this through the torture that that I would put through any other EDC. And I wanna make sure it's still gonna keep running and running and running. Zero failure to feeds, zero light primer strikes, zero failure to eject. It has run solid. I like it. So I wanna say thank you to the guys at Chalo Tech for making sure that you did everything right, making the customer happy, putting us up front, and making sure that your product is top tier because that's what it feels like. And I can't say that you'd get that same kind of customer support if you were buying from SIG or Smith & Wesson, but I haven't experienced it either, so I hope I don't have to. All right, it's the next day. Gonna add a little additions to this considering I don't like to have something that's super subjective and based on my ergonomics and how I feel that something fits in my hand with felt recoil and return to zero. So when I was at the range, I had another friend of ours. I wanted him to try the pistols out. I wanted him to try the X Macro, the Shalo Tech, and he owns a P365XL with the Icarus grip module with the Parker Mountain Machine dedicated compensator, like a real compensator. And I wanted him to try all of them and I wanted to see how he did with them. Unfortunately, I did not get the Parker Mountain comp on high speed footage. Totally missed that, it's my fault. Um, but we did run ammo through all three of them and you'll see in the footage his initial response to using the Shalo Tech. Uh, I like the feel. Does this go in your holster? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Slim Fit out here in Denver makes them. Oh, sweet. I'd like the feel of it. See if you can tell the difference with that one, because they feel pretty close to me. It's in the pipe, ready to go. Much lighter. It is, yeah. Well, it's all, that's polymer. This one's all aluminum. Uh-huh. Yeah, huge difference. I, I don't know why, but I like this one better. Yeah, uh -huh. and I'm guessing that's because my thumb is looking for something up here. Yeah, yeah, I know I felt the same thing. The ergos on this are, are definitely superior to the Icarus, I think. Thank you everyone for tuning in. I hope this has been a little informative. I hope the footage here of us shooting it, high speed and everything, can help you make an informed or educated decision at least of what maybe you wanna get. Um, we do know that the quality is there, customer service is there, it's reliable as hell so far. I haven't put it through 1500 rounds like I have some of my other firearms. So far, I haven't had any issues. And if I have any issues, I will come right here and I will explain them to you guys and show them that yeah, after a while it turned out to be a turd. I don't see that happening so far with what I've been given. Any other questions, feel free to drop a comment. We have quite a bit more contact coming in the future. Ballistic gel testing, other pistol testing, some rifles. Uh, do we want to get into reloading uh, tutorials or examples? You guys let me know. What is on your mind? What do you want to see this skinny ass dude talk to you about gun? Thanks for watching. Do I sound stupid or what? Do I sound stupid? I feel stupid. It's gonna be painful when you watch this and listen to myself talking. <laughs>